the less distortion makes uh, straight walls curved. And so often in forensic we speak about integrity and authenticity. So often I can have an image which is the original but is not authentic in the sense that it doesn't depict the real scene because the walls in this example are curved and straight so they are not uh, representing how things they are. How can I justify to the court that I process an image or video? You are actually touching evidence. I say yes, absolutely, but to get a better representation of the reality. But when it comes to video, the thing that amazes me most is the most knowledgeable people are, are the most experienced, the ones that have been around. And part of the problem is there are so many different formats of video. There's so many different um, just caveats and you know, I'm part of some of these chat groups and such, and people always have questions about, you know, I got this video and it's not playing, I put it into the software, I don't know what the heck's going on, and somebody says, oh, I ran into that five years ago, you know, I got some notes here. So these these people have their black books with all the secret notes and, and, and stuff that they put in there, and they're very good at sharing, so the community is really good. You have to be involved in the community because you are going to find yourself in a situation where the software, the standards that you thought might work are just not going to work.